Reparation comes under the banner, if you like, of restorative justice. It means to repair the harm. At the very centre of that should be the victim, or at least victim's wishes or, or victim's input. <laughs> the community reparation that the yacht gets involved with, it does point out to young people the consequences of what they've done, but it gives something back to communities. It makes them get a part of communities and actually from the victim's point of view as well, I think it helps them understand and get over some of the some of the actions that have been taken against them it makes sure that they can see that there's something positive coming out of something very negative that's happening to them the great thing with community reparation is young people doing things in their locality to try and put right the harm now that can be something as simple as putting a lick of paint on a fence but if no one has put a lick of paint on that fence for 10 or 15 years the impact on the community of seeing something freshened up, clean, looking good, makes people feel better about where they live. That allows young people who've offended against the community as a general to put something back. Young people are in their own local community given opportunities to do something positive. Uh, well, of course, it, the local community benefits. And as well, victims that are a part of the process, of course, we want them to benefit. We want them to get a sense of justice has been done. We want them to, you know, take ownership of, of the offence. It's all about them taking responsibility for what they've done. It's about them giving the opportunity to do something about it as a way of, of making up for the harm. Yeah. The types of community projects we've got at the minute, things like graffiti removal, and it sounds really rubbish, but it's not. When a young person gets the chance to dress up in all the gear and they put the wellies on and the, and the, the, the ear defenders and, the, and, the, and all the, the equipment, they quite enjoy it. And it's, you know, they, they, they paint the stuff on, they wait the 20 minutes and they, they remove it off. And they can visibly see the results of, of some of their effort, and it's good for them to take ownership of the local community. Statistics say that communities if they are graffitied by their local people, tend to stay cleaner for longer if they're removed by local children. Another community project is uh, something called BTCV, British Trust of Conservation for Volunteers. A great organisation, they partner with uh, the Woodland Trust. We work in local woodland in Halton and Warrington, all about woodland management dead hedging and all these different skills that, that they allow us to kind of uh, use and train them up in this equipment that's involved and the children love it. We've had young people that have been a part of reparation, loved the project so much and are finished with the yacht now and are, 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 are volunteers themselves and, and giving up some of their spare time. One of the prime purposes of a youth court is to stop a young person from offending again. Restorative justice and reparation, which is another way of approaching it, that actually does have a positive impact for that young person. In Cheshire, the difference it's made is we're no longer criminalising young people. Restorative justice is the right way forward. Oh. The work that the yacht do actually reduces the offending of young people and that is central to what we want. We don't want crime within communities and that's what victims want as well. So the work that they do makes sure that we actually can stop young people reoffending, get people to young, young people to understand the consequences of their actions and actually mean, that means not only do we reduce crime, which is what the police are about, but actually improves the life chances of the young person as well and that's what's really critical. So we open up the gym on a Saturday morning where we have the, uh, the younger ones in from age four upwards. Um, and we've got uh, a lot of coaches helping us, so he's come down today because obviously he's got his reparation hours to complete. He's come down to enhance what we're doing and pick up some new skills for himself as well. Come on, come on.
To be honest, I wouldn't have been here if I'd like not done anything wrong. Right, we'll see you in a minute. This experience has increased my confidence because I wasn't a type of person to like help others out, but now I love it. I, I enjoy people uh, helping people out and actually like helping people out and hopefully I'll be working with little kids soon, helping to coach and free boxing. There's lots of reasons why young people offend, but youth should be allowed to make mistakes and not have a record that's going to be there for the rest of their lives and, and, and is going to blight their future. All young people make mistakes. All people make mistakes. If we can put the, um, the offender, the child, young person who's made mistakes, made some poor decisions, if we can put them in a position where they make better decisions and don't make mistakes, everybody is better off, including them. Getting, getting yourself into trouble isn't what it's all about. You need to sort yourself out and get into college, get yourself a decent career. I've learned from my mistake, people should need to learn from theirs and stop reoffending because it's not something that you need to do. It doesn't help you and it doesn't help anyone else. This gives you a chance to make those mistakes that sometimes young people make and put it right, learn from the mistake, move on, and become a decent citizen. <laughs> <laughs>
another community project is uh, something called BTC, the British Trust of Conservation for Volunteers. A great organisation. They partner with uh, the Woodland Trust. We work in local woodland in Halton and Warrington, all about woodland management, dead hedging, and all these different skills that, that they allow us to kind of uh, use and train them up in this equipment that's involved, and the children love it. We've had young people that have been a part of reparation, loved the project so much and are finished with the yacht now and are, 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 are volunteers themselves and, and giving up some of their spare time. One of the prime purposes of a youth court is to stop a young person from offending again. Restorative justice and reparation, which is another way of approaching it, that actually does have a positive impact for that young person. In Cheshire, the difference it's made is we're no longer criminalising young people. Restorative justice is the right way forward. The work that the yacht do actually reduces the offending of young people and that is central to what we want. We don't want crime within communities and that's what victims want as well. So the work that they do makes sure that we actually can stop young people reoffending, get people to young young people to understand the consequences of their actions. And actually mean that means not only do we reduce crime, which is what the police are about, but actually improves the life chances of the young person as well. And that's what's really critical. <laughs> You know. okay. So we open up the gym on a Saturday morning where we have the, uh, the younger ones in from age four upwards. Um, and we've got uh, a lot of coaches helping us, so he's come down today because obviously he's got his reparation hours to complete. He's come down to enhance what we're doing and pick up some new skills for himself as well. To be honest, I wouldn't have been here if I'd like not done anything wrong. All right, all right. We'll see you in a minute. This experience has increased my confidence because I wasn't a type of person to like help others out, but now I love it. I, I enjoy people uh, helping people out and actually like helping people out and hopefully I'll be working with little kids soon, helping to coach and free boxing. Lots of reasons why young people offend, but youth should be allowed to make mistakes and not have a record that's going to be there for the rest of their lives and and and's going to blight their future. All young people make mistakes. All people make mistakes. If we can put the um, the offender, the child, young person who's made mistakes, made some poor decisions, if we can put them in a position where they make better decisions and don't make mistakes, everybody is better off, including them. Getting, getting yourself into trouble isn't what it's all about. You need to sort yourself out and get into college, get yourself a decent career. I've learned from my mistake, people should need to learn from theirs and stop reoffending because it's not something that you need to do. It doesn't help you and it doesn't help anyone else. This gives you a chance to make those mistakes that sometimes young people make and put it right, learn from the mistake, move on and become a decent citizen. <laughs>